My friends, I am Pandy Paws, and this is Cookie Cookie. <laughs> Me love cookie. Can I eat the cookie? No, 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 Cookie Monster, don't eat me. Be so sorry about that. Oh, but anyways, today we're gonna take a look at the professional baker teaches you. How to make chocolate chip cookies. But anyway, eight pro Can I take you right? Sorry, eight pro foods. You know, eight foodie videos. Like March 25th to April the 1st. And that's when I'm gonna get happened. I'm a shopkin. Well, anyways. Enjoy the video. Action. How can anyone possibly resist a freshly baked drop cookie, especially with a glass of ice cold milk? But now we have to start with the basic about that? Classic it's a classic chip chocolate cookie. chip cookies. We'll start by measuring out half a That's cup. a lot of Dunkin'. Don't and you? It's easier to measure by weight. That's my butter into amazing. Cup. I've got exactly four ounces there. I judge a good chocolate chip cookie on that balance of crispy outside, chewy inside, sweetness to dark chocolate chips. And it's all about those nuances. Oh, I really? Just that right I knew about that Shopkin stuff. Granulated sugar, but and that's a lot of cookies. Of sugar. Can I imagine that? It's easy that? enough to make drop cookies by hand. But an important step We're in 7.30 a.m. but literally in the morning? Using a spatula and rubbing against but the seriously, I guess. The butter and the sugar. To cream the but I can handle that. And that lends structure to the cookie, so they'll hold together. They won't crumble apart. And as soon as you see this creamy consistency, then you can add an egg. Because my butter was at room temperature, well, it's that's a good idea to exactly have an egg at room temperature. What I ever did. At the same time, I'll add. Well, why do you know it's got an egg? And just blend this together. Okay. Now for the dry ingredients. I'll add a cup and a quarter of all-purpose flour. And now I'll share with you my signature ingredient to add to chocolate chip cookies, a tablespoon of cornstarch. I am a big fan of cookies that are crispy well, in the cookie, outside, cookie? But chewy in the center. You're a one this smart cookie. This addition that they will stay soft uh, in the center. thank you, now my fella. a teaspoon But am I'm going to seriously add them on control. Salt. And I'll just sit this through. No, cookie, and cookie, no, 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 don't eat it. me. You don't commonly associate I'm the work out of a my pastry control. chef with something simple like a drop cookie. But honestly, in my profession, I have made thousands well, of cookies. Well, cookie monster is just a predator. So you really get a lot of practice in there. There we go. I've got Not the flour blended into the dough. The army for. How would a chocolate chip cookie be without the chocolate chips? I am using chocolate chips that are made for chocolate chip cookies and they hold their shape. They also set up nicely after they've cooled. I find that a cup and a half is the perfect amount. You need to have a bit of chocolate chip in every bite. That being said, if you're a big fan, a little bit extra is just fine. That's a little bit of crummy like crumbness. A cup of chopped toasted pecans. 
So of course, that's a lot of that. That's a good sure idea. The chips and pecans are really worked into the cookie dough batter. You can really tell by this dough that every bite is going to get more than one chocolate chip. Okay, now it's time for scooping and dropping the cookies. The simplest tip well, is to I just can use handle a that. measurement of about two but tablespoons. But how gorgeous is that? Quickly rotating your hands into a ball shape. Ooh, a question a I ball get asked often about chocolate That's chip pretty. cookies is why you can make the same particular recipe, but they bake out differently. Sometimes they spread and sometimes they hold their shape. It's the room temperature butter you start with that impacts the way that bakes. To fix that, simply pre-shape your cookies like I am now and then pop the dough in the well, fridge. Well, that's exactly for an hour. gotta love when it sets that. the dough, no matter that's how really you started particular. with a cookie recipe, they'll always bake mm -hmm. out beautifully. I didn't now I fit twenty-four two. cookies on this one tray. Yum, yum, Not that I'm yum. going to bake twenty-four on one tray, but it takes up less space in the fridge when I chill them. I'll just pop these in the fridge to chill for an hour. And I have a tray that's already spent an hour in the fridge. As you can see, these are quite firmly set now. So well, we still a little bit quite. Evenly. A great tip to get still ahead quite of cookie baking a little is bit. to actually make your batches, the cookie. chill them like this, How very you can actually pack sensible. them up together in resealable bags that's, and freeze that's them. That's what the cookie crumble. You need emergency cookies after a really bad day at school. Pull out two or three, oh, let them thaw for 20 minutes on the counter before oh. baking, and you've got freshly baked cookies on no, the but. So now, I don't of course, want I have to, to make room me. for the cookies to bake. I don't want to. So I'll put 12. Oh, well, I don't want to eat idea me. to leave about two inches space between each of the cookies in all directions. There we go. Well, there's the almost space. a hair. Am I going to be crumbling this one? Between 15 mm -hmm. and 18 minutes to turn a nice golden brown just around the edges. Well, just around the corner. So, uh, yep, cookies. Crumb, crumb, crumb. Oh. I let my chocolate chip cookies cool on their tray before removing them, so they set up a little bit. I can spread it off everything. I have a tray that's just cool. That is the hardest that's part. That's the crummiest cookie in my life. Cool just a little bit, Ooh. but you can see the chocolate is still soft and melting. And the cookies are chewy all the way through. Every bite is going to have some chocolate chip and a little bit of that buttery... Well, tomorrow we're going to do a new video for the April Foods for everyone. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Oh, Jimmy, no, no, Jimmy, Jimmy. Die. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Happy April Fool's Day.